A big update doesn't just give us lots of exciting new stuff to play with, it also gives us lots of exciting new bugs to discover and then to moan about. A week ago, the blocks on A site of Mirage suddenly developed a weird shading issue. Oh, Valve please fix! And they did, in just a matter of days. Don't ask why it was a problem, these blocks aren't even part of the new Sir Rocket map. They also clipped the fences around Vertigo, making their collision boxes big and boxy. Presumably this will make interactions with them more reliable than if you were only dealing with the model's hitboxes. A few days before, on Twitter, Mr Mario said that running up to this fence messed up the server when playing on Faceit. I couldn't get it to do anything when I tested it, but the update could have been something to do with this. Also, I noticed the ribbon is gone. Coincidence? On Twitter, Lana pointed out a bug with the Molotovs on Inferno. Stand here, throw a grenade here, and it will bounce but will never explode. Some bugs give you an advantage, but not this one. And Jacob found this texture bug on Mirage, but it's probably his computer dying. RIP. Cheers big fella said that the bump mines can be seen through smoke. No surprise there. Almost everything can break the smoke in some way or another. I was able to recreate this and, oh look, smoke underwater turns a pretty blue colour. Valve please fix. When Workout was added back into the game following a four year absence, I predicted that it would have some bugs. The map itself was fine in 2014, it was in the game for the best part of a year and it didn't require any changes in that time. But the game and community has come a long way since then, we've become acutely aware of bomb stuck spots and clipping errors, and I've already been sent a few on Twitter, like how you can boost over this wall here, getting stuck down the other side. Kong Modern Warfare 2 found a way to look over the top of the pommel horses by sliding up the side, whilst retaining pinpoint accuracy. And Caleb found a potential bomb stuck spot just here, and then a few people pointed out that it was a hostage map. But I know what you mean Caleb, it's a weapon stuck spot, and you can be pleased that you discovered something that the entire CSGO community from 2015 did not, or at least didn't care about. I'm absolutely certain the map will soon receive an update to patch all of these things, bringing workout up to 2019 standards. And last I'm going to cover Sirocco, being the most detailed CSGO map of all time, you can be sure that a few bugs exist on it, and there were. A vulnerable mention were the flying fish, spotted by Amni on Twitter. This was soon patched up, along with numerous clipping bugs, like where things and players could get stuck or fall through the floor. Normally when a map is updated, they add the older version to the workshop. Almost every change to a CSGO map has been documented in this way. This makes my life easier and I've grown to rely on it for comparing before and after changes. Sadly, the old map has not been uploaded in this way so I've been unable to do it this time. Though this will stop me from being lazy and I'll get a second computer set up with an older version, so I'll be able to compare them in future even if this does happen. But just know that most of these changes were improvements to the clipping where players and items could previously get stuck. They've added this ladder to the lighthouse bridge. This was fairly straightforward to explain. If you fell down here then where could you go? There was no quick way of getting back up into the action again, other than to run across a long beach or to go for a bit of a swim, which is frustratingly slow and exposed. They've renamed Medina to town. A quick google search revealed that it's an Arabic term for town or city, a Medina quarter is a walled section with narrow maze like streets, and there's a holy city called Medina too, maybe they changed it to town because people were calling it that, and it does perhaps fit in better with other places on the map, like village and fishing. Who knows? Also, while we're at the town, there's a building full of horrible wooden supports which block your movement. Sir Heater on my subreddit managed to get stuck by entering through the hole in the roof, there's no way out from here. They've made it so that grenades can pass through what I can assume was this grate rather than bouncing off it. So is that it? Is Sirocco now bug free? Of course not. Thanks to Riley Trussell for this one, your character can get stuck here, unable to escape. It got him killed. Yusuf Salem gave me a few nice examples of broken spots, like these stairs on the outskirts of the town. Weapons will pass through them, becoming irretrievable, and grenades won't bounce off them either. Grinder Sky found all sorts of problems, the clipping on the details around the Kasbah's towers are particularly glitchy, also these bits remain untextured. Rip any weapons that you drop down this hole, though it's kind of your fault. Where the displacement meets the funk detail there's a tiny gap around this wall just north of Kasbah which lets you pixel walk along it. These towers are big models, which might be why pixel walks such as this one exist. I'm assuming it's not supposed to be like this as it doesn't look as though you should be able to run along it but it does make the map climbable, which fits in with the extra jump boots and other new mechanics. He also found that these corrugated metal roofs are made of wood. 
the Batman pit is dark and full of terrors. There's a gap in the step model here. This pipe doesn't fully connect with the other one. And, I like this one, while they clipped the spiral staircase at the top, they must have got bored because they've left the bottom ones unclipped. It's like Dust 2's tunnels all over again. He's truly doing the Lord's work here. Just around the corner from Pit, they fail to seal up this wall, exposing the void beyond. You can even look up through the floor, though player models stood here won't be visible. These rock props are so large they've caused all kinds of problems. They stick through into the tunnels, and although I wouldn't call this a bug, they look so ugly that several people have come to me thinking they are. I'm surprised by how good the collision on them is, but this corner's still a bit questionable and can interfere with movement. In any other game I don't think people would care, but Counter-Strike is polished to such a high degree this kind of thing sticks out. Also, they don't appear to overlap each other too well, so Valve have cleverly hidden the joins with shrubberies. But this didn't trick Grinder's guy, for he looked through it and found a gap between them. You can see it clearly when heading up the path from the beach. The shrubberies fold them again here. There's a hole down between the cliff models here as well, but worse than that, the plant sticks through a pay-to-win wall. The collision model on this boy remains horribly approximate, and can be a serious problem if you're shooting at an enemy in the town. Same with the back of this truck here. These small white planks aren't solid. You can get glitched on this corner, though fortunately it won't send you plummeting to your death like the Doran Dust 2 used to. And lastly, the top of this cell tower isn't drawn. Thank you to Grindersky for however many hours it took to find all these things. You can check out his playlist here and thank him yourselves. I see big updates as three steps forward, one step back. Hopefully by pointing out everything I'm aware of, it will kick Valve into action. The community's done the legwork. Now Valve need to put their best foot forward and take steps to fix it by shoehorning some fixes into the game. Maybe with Source 2. Okay, I've run out of puns now. The ball's in their court.